Hi, this is Julia M. Spencer, real estate advisor, investor, and enthusiast. And I'm working today for a little bit in my office, and I wanted to make this brief video to tell you something about construction companies. This is very important information in case you're considering flipping or if you have a remodeling project and plans for any of your investment properties. Um, re and this is a little bit of a story here. So it, it was about a week ago that I was sitting in a local coffee house just enjoying my coffee and um, an elderly gentleman approached me and it turns out that he actually owns a construction company. And he was basically going from table to table in this coffee house where I was enjoying my coffee and um, trying to find customers. He was very nice, um, was speaking to me very nice, and had um, was very articulate. He left me his business card as well as, and I'm, I'm going to cover up the name because I don't want to have anybody standing up. He left me this business card right here that basically is an advertisement, and it says on the back, I design four-day kitchens to streamline remodeling your kitchen. You and I plan your kitchen makeover with four-day options of cabinetry, countertops, flooring, and fresh paint to meet your budget and lifestyle. The, and he's a Georgia residential contractor with a license number. He has a website and a biz, actually two websites here. One is a .biz website and one is a .com website. And this particular person has a PhD. Um, which the very first thing that I thought is a person that runs a construction company does not need to have a PhD. And it's kind of weird that somebody like that would have to have a PhD. A person with a PhD would normally be teaching in a university setting or in a technical school or, um, you know, be, be an educator, but not a construction company owner. So this was really weird to me. So um, immediately I asked this person and I asked them, so what kind of work do you actually do? Give me a little bit of your background. And so basically he has a PhD in agriculture, not related to construction, and has been in the business since ages, since the 70s. And his selling pitch to me basically was that he has a number, a big list of database of people that he can call to do any job related to um, remodeling a house for any reason. Now it happened to be that right at that moment I was actually interviewing some people for a position that I had open and he must have overheard me in terms of what kind of work I do. So he approached me as one of the first people and, um, and I basically said, you know, I do have some work. And I'm going to, um, in my mind, of course, thinking, you know, I'm going to put this person to the test because um, construction companies are, are a big, big um, subject in itself that has to be considered quite um, quite separately and I have a lot and tons of information about construction companies and which ones you should hire which ones you should stay away from and anything and everything associated with construction companies so um, so I basically asked this person so I thought I put this person to a test and I basically asked him to go buy one of my properties that I have currently in downtown Savannah which is heavily, heavily in need of remodeling, reconstruction. It's basically as close as you can get to stripping the whole place down and rebuilding from scratch. In addition, that particular property has been vacant for quite some time, so there's some serious issues there with um, deforestation, I would call it almost deforestation of the, of, of the backyard, basically cutting down shrubs and, and trees and cleaning it up, basically. And um, he basically told me he does any kind of anything related to construction and building, you know, landscaping is part of that. So I, I wanted to put him on to the test. I gave this person a call the next day. He did remember me, and um, he said he would get right back to me. He would drive by there that day. He would call me back and give me an estimate of how much it would take to basically um, do the construction thing that I had asked him to do, as well as the cleanup. Now, the construction thing that I wanted him to do was not a fancy remodel or a kitchen redo or a very expensive job. I, I basically just wanted him to secure the property. The property that I was considering him doing some work at was a foreclosure, so it has a lot of um, issues still, and I'm, I'm still working through the paperwork. So I basically wanted him to secure it 
boarded up, you know, secured so there's no squatters that can take place in there, um, can take advantage of, of living there, and I basically wanted it shut down. Um, this was on a, um, I met this person on Tuesday, I called him first thing on Wednesday morning, it must have been probably like 8 or 9 in the morning, he said he would get to it that day. It is about a week and one day later right now, and I have not heard from this person. Um, I don't know if he was scared by the project or the property, but or if he just didn't get back with me, or he had some better things to do. But if you take the time to walk around in a coffee house to distribute your, your um, advertising, and you take the time to print this out and give this to people, then um, it would be it would be good if you could call call me back basically, um, and in a reasonable amount of time. Obviously, uh, in the meantime, I have already hired somebody else to do the yard because this is something that needed to be done very urgently. Um, I I saw some people in the street that were cut, cutting somebody else's trees down, and I asked them, "Hey, do you want another job?" And they got to it right away. So um, this person right here just lost half of the job that I asked them to do. The other half, they've never called me back. So, um, and my, um, what I want to teach with this video is, when you're a real estate investor, you have to have people in your repertoire that that get back to you right away. You want people that are responsive to you, even if you're a new customer. Obviously, I have no history with this person. He doesn't know if I have. Um, actually, he does know. I did tell him I have lots of properties. I have lots of work. Um, but he, um, he, I, I obviously didn't make it at the top of his to-do list, and he hadn't got back, gotten back with me. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to hold on to this and see what develops, if anything. But at this point, and with every day that passes, this person does not have my vote of confidence for a business relationship, and this person is potentially losing out on a lot of money to be made. Um, co collaborating and working with my business. Um, so if you're a real estate investor, find the construction companies that are responsive to you, that respond right away, that are enthusiastic about your kind of assignment, and that basically co cooperate with you, or else you just be chasing them down the street and you're not going to get anything done. And obviously time is money and stuff needs to get done quicker, sooner, the sooner the better. So for more tips like this, sign up for your free newsletter, download your free guide to real estate investing on my website, brand new website that was just launched, www.juliamspencer.com, and I look forward to hear from you and see you investing. Thank you and have a great day. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.